<laughs> all right y'all let's make a stocking it's gonna look like this you know what a stocking looks like pretty sides together we're just gonna sew straight down on the top end make sure you have thread run that the hard way going to do the second piece doing the exact same thing we're going to match up our toes make sure our toes are faced the right way put pretty side down matching up this top portion here we're going to sew a straight line Once you have that done, we're going to match up our pieces. So what I mean by that was we're going to open it up just like this. We're not worried about this part because we'll see it coming. So when we do this, we're going to match up the second piece with it, toes together. And the most important part right here is to match up these two seams. We want to make sure that they're right lined up we're gonna pull this together we're gonna get our tabby which I lost already but I found it it's right here folded in half I'm just gonna eyeball it it's probably two three inches up that I want it to be so one two three opening up this part I'm gonna shove it right in hold it with my finger and I'm going to, my open spot to be in the inside of the thing so here I'm gonna start there we're gonna zoom off round putting my foot down putting my foot down there we go when you get to your ribbon you do want to go i don't know about this machine we're going to go back on it because it does put stress when we hang it up once we get that taken care of we're just going to do about a quarter of an inch when you get to your rounded parts just hold steady go around holding both pieces together if you feel a little unsure go a little slower but if you do have to use the your thumb bringing those pieces up that part that was extra extra we're not worried about it This is what it looks like. We're going to cut it down a little bit. Scissors. Got scissors right here. Got our pinking shears. I like pinking shears because we work on curved edges. So we work on the curved edges. We're just going to cut it. Isn't this fun? One, these scissors are fabulous. Two, it helps it lay better. As we turn it out, it'll be great. I'm not worried that my color is pink because it's going to be on the inside. Nobody will see it. You know, people who are in their stockings only want, want what's in the stocking. They don't want to see your stitches, and they won't. They'll see a little bit of it when we close it out. But other than that, this was this extra piece that we weren't worried about. And as we're doing this, we're just making sure over the big hump that it's going to come out nice. You really only need to do this on the curved edges, but the scissors is so fun. I like to play with them. Yay. Wee wee. As we go along, we're just cruising. Mm -hmm. The 
does any random song come in your head and you just start humming it or is that just me? Probably just me. I don't mind. We're almost done. We're coming to the tail end. We're going to turn this right side out. We'll see how pretty it is. But we're going to have to close out that turning hole. Then we can say we're done. And we can say hooray. Unless um, Star Wars has a thing. There we go, we got over the hump. We're coming to the ribbon part. Make sure to just be a little ginger. Not Marianne, ginger. Over that part. As we come through, coming to the end. There we are. We're gonna take all of this and put it in the rubbish. Yay. We pinkied it up. Now we're gonna turn it right side out. Pulling from the bottom, ever so slightly, just breathing our pretty baby. Using my hand, my fingers, using all parts of it, we're going to take this little piece right here, pulling it in, and then it should say, ta-da! Once this clean edge, we're going to put our, close it up, and we are done. I lost you. Oh, there you are. There you are. We are done. Clean this up. Taking that. You see the stitch line there. We are going to pull this out. Taking all of the white, we're going to now shove it in the stocking, and it should be wonderful. Wonderful, y'all. Wonderful. Just takes a little bit of time, as Bob Ross says. There we go. Using our fingers, we're just pressing them all out, making sure to grab our curve, pulling. And I'm going to take this tap. When I do that, it tells me exactly where I want to be, and we have our finished stocking. How cute is it? Let me move this machine, and there we go. Thank you.